Hi, welcome to another Unity Mobile Dev from Scratch tutorial. This is following from the previous tutorial where we're ray casting into the environment and looking to hit a 3D object that's in there. So in the previous tutorial, we wrote some code in a file called Touch Manager and I attached that code um, to this Touch Manager that's in the environment. What we're going to do now is actually extend that code to cast a ray out into the environment and test whether it's hit something. So previously we were just drawing the ray into the environment and having a look at it. This line here we can comment that out because we don't need it. But what we're going to do with the mouse's position on the near plane of the camera and the far plane of the camera is actually project a ray between it, uh, which is essentially a vector. So to do that, we use the physics raycast system in Unity. And what it will do is it'll spit a ray out into the environment from a starting location in a particular direction. And then it will report back to us if it's actually collided with something. So uh, because we're using the physics system, the object in the environment that you want to click on has to have a collider on it. And we're using the default sphere, so we've already got a collider. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is a physics um, raycast hit object and I've just called it hit which is what it's called all over the place throughout the documentation. This will report back on the object that gets hit um, if at all we do. Now we're going to have an if statement that tests if our ray has hit something and this is what it looks like. So it's a if physics.raycast the starting position of our ray which is on the near plane of the camera the ray going out from the near plane to its far plane position. And then we're receiving back the hit object. Now, if there is a hit object, it's going to then go inside this if statement and actually destroy the object that you've hit. So just save that. Once you've done it, switch back into Unity and press play. Now we can click on the screen, which is drawing our ray still into the environment. But when we click on the sphere itself, it will destroy it. Now we can grab that sphere and duplicate it because this code really doesn't mind what you click on as long as it's got a collider on it. So I'll just put a few spheres around the place. Okay, press play and we click here. Nothing happens. Click on the spheres and they get destroyed. Okay, so really actually quite nice and easy once you've got your head around the way that the rays are working in the perspective and the orthographic camera. All right, now just because it's fun to add some special effects, I'm going to add some special effects when we click on each of these spheres to make them explode. And I can do that in the touch manager code that we had before. So what I did is went to the asset store and downloaded this nice particle system here, which is free. And we'll instantiate one of those special effects when we actually click on the sphere itself. So back in the code, to instantiate the object, we want to do that before we actually destroy the sphere so that we can use that sphere's position as the position of the instantiation. So this is our line of code here that you want to add. So we're instantiating an explosion at the um, hit position and it's going to just be at the zero rotation for that particular object um, or sorry for the whole world really so it's just quaternion.identity there for that rotation. Now this explosion object has to be passed in to this code so at the top here I'm just going to add in a public game object explosion and save that then back in Unity, if we select our Touch Manager, you'll have the exposed variable for explosion. Now, if you dig around in the free package you just downloaded, you'll find a prefab folder. In that, there's a explosion, FT underscore explosion, and I'll put it into this explosion here. Okay, and then we're ready to go. So press play, and when we click, we'll get the explosion effect happen for us. And that explosion effect does its own cleanup as well. So it destroys itself after it has run. 
Now, if you haven't done any mobile programming before, you're probably wondering, well, yes, this is all very good, but how do I make this work on my mobile device? Well, all you have to do is switch it to an Android or an iOS um, platform and build it out onto the device and it will work. So one thing just to take note of and take away from this tutorial is that the um, mouse input value, this here, and also the input.getMouse button will register when you've actually tapped on your device with your finger. So there's been a single touch. Now, when it comes to multiple touches, this won't obviously work, but it still will work for one touch. So um, if you want to make this and build it out and try it on your device, um, feel free and it'll give you some good practice as well. All right, uh, so that is ray casting in the different camera projections and the difference between screen and world coordinates.